gonna make Ms. Irby's okra salad. I just put some okra on to blanch. We want it to be just fork tender. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And it's not cut up, we've left it whole. It's about, oh, 25 or 30 pieces of okra. And just cut the tops off and just till they get fork tender. All right, in a bowl, I wanna add about half of a <clears throat> purple onion and we wanna do this some really thin slices just as thin as we can get them. And we'll make sure we get all our paper off. Got this recipe in a roundabout way from a friend who had a friend whose mom was Miss Irby. So I think it's gonna be cute and a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these purple onion rings in here. And then I have some vine ripened kind of cherry looking tomatoes, about eight or 10 of them. And I've washed them and pulling them off of this little vine right here, making sure we don't have any of the stems. And we're gonna leave these in some kind of large pieces. So maybe just a, a quarter, just quarter them, kind of nice and bite size. holder here and get our, I think these are done, oh yeah, they are fork tender. Very carefully we'll get them out and just shock them real quickly. They're pretty just so bright green. And this is going to be an especially great salad when all your okra is just so plentiful and you're thinking, what in the world do I do with it? Well, you make Ms. Irby salad. <laughs> Gives you a great alternative from frying it. I know in the South we've lots of folks fry okra, but I think this is going to be a real pleasant change for you. And I'm going to let this sit just for a minute. And what we're going to do is come over here and I've got my handy dandy jar. And this is going to have kind of a tart dressing to it. I'm gonna go a couple of ounces of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna do equal parts, and we're gonna taste test it too. I've got some apple cider vinegar here, and this is gonna really kind of bring all of this together. Now, I'm gonna add a few pinches of some kosher salt, probably about a teaspoon or so, and then let's get some cracked black pepper in here. I've got my top over here, we'll give it a shake. And then we'll take a little test taste. Now the friend who gave me the recipe said, you want your dressing just a little on the tart side, so I'm gonna see exactly how that tastes. You know what? I think it could actually use more of the cider vinegar. Let's go a couple more ounces of that. She said make it tart, I'm gonna make it tart. <laughs> All right, and another little taste test and we'll see how we do. Mm, mm -hmm. That's great. All right, let's get our okra into our salad. Let's stop that cooking process and they're just beautiful and bright green, isn't that pretty? I'm hiding out at the bottom. Let's get in here. Come on, buddies. You can participate. All right. Now, got a spoon over here, and I've got this knife. And what we want to do is we're going to just quarter these eggs very carefully. And when they all come apart, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You'll have a little white and a little yolk and whatever. And we'll give this a good toss with our dressing. Let's give this another little shake. And we're gonna give 
It's just a little bit of a toss, not too much. We don't want to drown it. There we go. Look how pretty. This is going to marinate and just kind of all the flavors will come together. And if you want to give a little bit more salt and pepper, certainly do that. And I want one little piece of okra because, ooh, I love okra. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mmm. Crispy. And really, really crunchy. And that is absolutely delicious. I'm going one more little sprinkle of salt. And we didn't drown it. A little bit more pepper here. Then I can cover this, put it in the fridge, and when we get ready to serve up our meal, it'll be ready. I'll take this to the fridge.